Hi guys, welcome to my channel Lush Gardner. I hope you guys are fine and are safe. So I am relocating a lot of succulents because uh, this place was all good for the monsoon season. I was getting a good amount of morning direct sunlight but now slowly uh, the amount of direct sunlight is reducing because the sun's direction is changing. Now this is not a table but this was an old door that I have uh, made it into a table kind of a stuff. Uh, this was a you can see the latch so this was a old door otherwise it would have been thrown off and i would have to pay a hefty amount to buy a long table so this was like absolutely free of charge so i thought uh, why not make use of it so i'm using this as a plank to keep the succulents and uh, the reason why i had to move a lot of succulents you can see this uh, this was one of the echo area that uh, sorry this was one of the uh, this was one of the grapto area that was uh, kept over here and you can see this uh, if i'm going to show it to you from here it is starting to bend that's because uh, the direct sunlight was uh, reducing day by day and they were struggling for light so i had to move them and uh, what i'm planning to do over here is i'm going to be planning to set up some uh, propagation over here uh, now you can see all of those containers are empty because I was planning to uh, start the propagation right away But I thought it's always better to check the forecast before starting up any setup So thankfully I happened to check the forecast and it says that it's it gonna rain for another two or three days Probably starting uh, day after tomorrow. It is gonna rain uh, That's because there is a cyclone that is uh, coming up in one of the coastal areas so my city is not going to be directly affected with cyclone but it's going to have the effects because uh, now my city is not going to be directly affected with cyclone but there is definitely going to be a lot of rains uh, there won't be any uh, sunlight or sunshine it's going to be completely cloudy for let's say two or three days so that is a major issue over here so that's the reason why i won't be uh, you know setting up right now because if i'm going to uh, take out the leaves for, because if I'm going to take out the leaves for propagation they are going to take around two or three days for them to callus and uh, that is when it is going to rain that's what the forecast says that it's going to rain during that period of time so my succulents uh, my leaf propagation will not be able to callus if it's going to rain because there is going to be a lot of moisture a lot of wind and that water might come in contact with the leaf propagation and uh, my leaves might get rotted so uh, I'll have to keep a hold on it I'm just going to lay all the plastic containers these are all food containers uh, the waste containers that I'm going to be using as uh, uh, you know the tray for propagation because I felt like this works out really well and watering is also very easy with this kind of uh, container so uh, this was an older one you can see it's doing extremely well so I think I will start uh, going with this because the larger tray remember I had made a video on it uh, it completely got destroyed because of the rains and because of the wind there was a lot of water that came in contact with it and all of them got rotted so I have to start so I have to start all over again so the process is going to remain the same you might have seen the playlist uh, step by step leaf propagation it's the same process the only thing what I wanted to show you guys was this setup uh, you can see all those uh, uh, water marks all the mud marks that are from the previous spot so I had to move them so I'm very excited about it because I'm planning to propagate a lot of succulents all together because as you all all know it takes a very long time so I do not want to have one or two leaf propagation after a year so I'm thinking of propagating multiple uh, different types of succulent in one go so that probably after one year or two years I have a variety of succulents rather than just having one or two leaf propagations so when I'm doing that work, I think I'll do it all together so I don't have to, uh, you know, keep uh, propagating it in different intervals and then the growth rate is also going to be very different. And this is the right time because it's winters and then it's going to be summers and monsoon is far away, especially for people from tropical environments because during uh, the monsoon season, it is very difficult to propagate succulents. So I think this is the right time, winters. The beginning of winters, you can start with your propagation and uh, by summers, they will be stabilized. They would have a good... Uh, size a decent size so uh, the summers won't affect them much so if you're planning to propagate i think this is the right time you can start propagating it if it's not raining but for me i wanted to do it right away but unfortunately because of the rains i am going to postpone it i'll wait until uh, the sun is back and the forecast says that it's going to be better so that's all about it guys uh, i will definitely keep you guys updated once i fill this completely and when i'm uh, sorting out the leaves and putting the leaves on the soil i will definitely make a video on it but i just wanted to give you a quick 
look of how the setup is going to be now this uh, place now because the sun's direction is changed so this place gets uh, morning direct sunlight from 7 a.m until 8 a.m so it's a very mild sunlight and then throughout the day it is very bright indirect light so that is going to work out really well for my uh, leaf propagation so hence i decided that i'm going to change the setup and uh, use this uh, platform only for uh, you know uh, growing the leaf propagation so i hope everything works out uh, everything goes well i hope that the uh, cyclone just vanishes i hope it never even starts because that's going to disrupt a lot of people's livelihood a lot of people's day-to-day -day life is going to get uh, ruined because of the cyclone so i hope that uh, somehow it just vanishes hopefully or even if it happens i hope that it doesn't do a lot of damage for the people who are directly affected with it so that's all about it i hope you guys uh, like this video if you did please hit the like button if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing to it until then take care stay safe and keep planting